So everybody has a different approach to how they're going to run and start their microgreens business. Um, but you kind of do need a starting point. And so one of the places I tend to start and where other people seem to start is how much money do you want to make? Like how much revenue do you want to generate? And so uh, what I try to do is break that down weekly. And then obviously you can translate that into what that looks like in a year. So I've created just a simple little sheet here to sort of give you a sense of things. And you'd be surprised with just a little bit of tweaking here how much it can tell you about your operation. So let's try this out here. Let's say I have a weekly revenue goal of $1,500. Um, and I can produce uh, about, let's just say 40 trays um, per harvest. And I can do two harvests a week. Now I'd figure out how many weeks of production I want to do. I'm going to do 50. I'm going to do 50. I'm going to do 50. I want to take uh, some time off and we're going to do $18 uh, as an average tray value. And what I'm trying to do is, is pick a tray value where I'm thinking I'm going to sell some at wholesale, some at premium price at farmer's market, and some live trays. Uh, some people be charging as much as $30 a tray. Um, when you think about pricing, which I won't get into here, uh, you need to think about how your numbers are going to work with pricing and how you're going to get repeat sales. If the numbers really work on your spreadsheet at $30 a tray, but you can't find people to pay enough money over time to make, make your revenue per tray $30, then you need to make some adjustments somewhere. So let's not get into that. So what this showed me here, though, is if I'm doing, if I can do 40 um, trays at a time, uh, and I'm going to do 50 weeks and, and uh, at $18 a tray, um, I need to do three harvests a week. And so now I'm starting to think, oh, like, can I do three harvests a week? I was only going to do two harvests a week. So how do we make some changes here? So I'm kind of thinking, you know, maybe I can do 45 trays. Actually, I think I've got enough space. Okay, that's still just three harvests a week. Okay, let's see. Let's put our tray value at about 20 bucks. Okay, okay, here we go. So if I can do 45 trays as my maximum capacity and I can get about $20 a tray, then I can hit my revenue goal. So at $1,500, uh, my projected revenue is $75,000. But at this pricing, I could do about $90,000 in sales uh, in this many weeks and with this many trays per week. And then I can start going, well, what if I could do, you know, 60 trays per week? Well, you can see now my revenue potential for that space is $120,000. So the, the numbers you put in here must be realistic. Uh, but you can start to change things a lot around. So if I'm if I'm doing, you know, trays at $25 each, you know, you can see my potential revenue with the same number of trays goes up quite a bit. Um, and maybe I can be doing, you know, you know, can't quite do 35. So I'm still at about probably 40 trays. So you can see with this, you can start to tweak things, right? And then you're you can play with this like, OK, well, I actually think now that I've thought about it, I want to make $2,000 a week. You know, that's the kind of revenue I think I need to generate to make this work. I can do those 45 trays. Okay, good. If I can do 45 trays a week and I produce for 50 weeks of the year, and I say that because that time around the, the new year and the holidays, um, usually sales plummet quite badly. So it's a good time to take time off, uh, clean your system, do your numbers, prepare for the next year. So um, you can do 52 weeks of the year for sure. And so then you can see, you can, you can make that um, revenue. You're running really, really close to capacity. Um, but yeah, over time, maybe your trade price goes up or your capacity goes up or you add another harvest. So this is just a little sheet to start allowing you to play with the numbers, getting a sense of what things look like. So once you've done that a little bit, you can start getting into the meat of things. So let's take a look at the first really important sheet next, which is customers.